Hello, uh, Socks Studios has been posting vids. Lots of vids on the YouTubes. And honestly, I put on my hood and my sunglasses and I was like, you know what, this is gonna be a fun, chill look today. And then I realized, wow, it's dark in here. I am going to fall asleep. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll, I'll keep this look going, but for now, here we are. Socks Studios, homies. Socks Studios been making a lot of noise on the YouTubes. Over the last few weeks, he's posted three times this month. But there's one video that's been making a lot of noise. And today, we are going to make the bold move of watching it. And that video is... Okay, my cheeks are too big. My cheeks are too big. I cannot... Ugh, there you go. Crushes! A 26-minute Sock Studios adventure. What's better than that? What's better than this? Guys being dudes. I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay, let's check this video out, okay? I'm really excited for this one. Hobies, you ready? It's your boy, Robert Eddie K. Sock Studios. Uno, dos, tres, theme song. Sock Studios is Nick and his bros and they can't take themselves serious. Put on your socks and let's have a talk and we'll see who's the weirdest. Meme got blasts and that way. Don't forget about TBH. Then hop on Discord with your best mates and put on your socks. We're going to space. Crushes. Okay, I'm, I told myself I would stop doing that voice. Crushes. Tres, dos, uno. Watch. Crushes. We all had them. Girls, boys, animals, robots, cartoons. <laughs> We're going to be telling our funniest Not crush relatable. stories. And at the end, you're going to know who everyone likes. Wow. Crush on you. Get away from me. I'm going to tell you guys a true crush story that it happened in I hope elementary so. school. Oh. And I still have the evidence to this day for some reason. You mean evidence? Bro has been holding on to this for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> it's because socks is uh, what we call a, a, a Gen Z, as probably most most of uh, the viewers of this channel are. And yeah, he grew up with a phone. That's how you still have the evidence. I don't think I had a phone until grade na 10, grade 10. Which by the way, I'm Canadian, so we say grade 10. To this for the rest of his life. I've been keeping it a lock. Bro's still waiting for it to say yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so back in my peak elementary school, you know, the peak of all two people, you know, the alpha male I was, okay? Obviously, okay. I received a lot of attention from women and, you know, even some men and, you know, even some teachers. Teachers! 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 I, I had this crush on this girl for a long time. We'll, we'll call her Emily. Hey, I'm Emily a baddie. Yo. Oh, she's in elementary, elementary school. school. Oh, she's down. in elementary school. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd say people in this video are not being careful with the things they're saying so far. First First of all, Sox was saying when he was in elementary school, he got a lot of attention from women and men. At that point, it's boys and girls, bro. Literally, literally, I don't know. Just everyone is saying the wrong thing so far. This is what happens when you don't, you don't write a script. She was in every single one of my classes from math, science, literature, you name it. Okay, we were in all our classes. We, we never really talked to each other, but that was kind of normal in elementary school. Right, you know, like absolutely. the boys stick with the boys and the girls stick with the girls. You know? Spooky honestly, stuff. It's too spooky. Exactly. And you know, honestly, I didn't know anything about her. All I knew is that she was female and I liked it. Good enough. <laughs> and I liked it. It's crazy. Dang, Sax, you've been looking fine recently. Ooh, you noticed? Ooh. <laughs> it must be. Fine recently. When you're a kid, there's no concept of how you've looked recently. <laughs> when you're a kid, there's no skincare routine, outfit choice. <laughs> like, you've been looking fine recently. Did you get more ill? <laughs> like, like, what is the concept when you're in elementary school? You've been, yo, you've been looking so dope recently. Oh, thanks. Uh, it must be this shirt that I've been wearing for the last three years. Oh, you know that. <laughs> it must be my look maxing routine. Oh, no. 100 reps of mewing, 100 oh, reps no. of 100 eyes, 100 reps of looking in the mirror and being depressed. Uh, I don't think it's like that. I think it's the hot new merch you got on. Oh! Hey, straight man. We got hats, we got shirts. All right, all right, good job, guys. That's a good, that's a good plug. All right, one day the strangest thing happened, okay? She actually came up to me. What? Wait, no, okay, this is where this starts. This is fake. This is where the story gets made up. Oh, yeah, that oh, doesn't dude, happen. Wait till the evidence comes in, my friend. Bro, it's going to blow your what mind. Evidence? Could you have it? Dude, gonna blow yeah, me. seniors. <laughs> Be mind blown. He actually came up to me. Like, why did she approach me? Okay, I stared blankly, like into her eyes. I didn't even say Can anything. I have like, your what was there to say? And then she asked me for oh, my number. number. Mm. Oh. At what? 
Wait, yeah, you had an elementary school? school? Wow. school? You had a phone at elementary school? Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I stare blankly into her eyes, okay? My crush just asked me for my number. And I but you know what's crazier than that? I, I didn't have a phone. Yeah, you ain't got a number. You had a phone in elementary school. And I'm pretty sure they didn't even exist back then. Thank well, how you. How old are you? I'm like 10 or something. Or 9, okay? How old are you now? Because you have to have phones back then. I, I didn't even get a flip phone till high school, okay? High school. Flip phone? Flip really? Okay, yo, stop. Socks? Socks just got some points for me. Because I'm a... <laughs> Listen, I'm not a boomer, obviously. Unless I had the greatest skincare routine of all time. I'm not a boomer, but I have boomer perspectives on phones. I wish our phones were not as good as they as they are. I am addicted to my phone. I use it way too much. And so when I do eventually have kids, it's like... I, I don't want them to be obsessed with their phones. I'm going to make sure they have whatever it takes to be safe. And aside from that, yo, hang out with people in real life, homie. <laughs> Don't touch grass now! And I mean, I guess they can watch YouTube and stuff, but but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. How old are you now? Because you have to have phones back then. I, I didn't even get a flip phone till high school. Okay, high school. Flip phone. Flip phone. Flip phone. How are you real? I forgot how <laughs> young that way was. I, I thought that was all in shows, bro. What? <laughs> I had a slide phone. How young are you? People actually went around, dude. People actually went around. Flip phones really existed. You were actually fourteen. It actually makes sense. Why do you think sense. it's in the show? It means it existed once. Ali, do not be talking. You need a cane, bro. I don't want to hear it. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bro, why is she catching a stray? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, dude. She asked me for my number, right? So I didn't I didn't have a phone. So I stared directly into her eyes with no reasoning and I just said, no. Wow. Oh, the game you got, got him. Crazy. The Rizzler. Savage slug. Oh, he's playing the long game. He's playing the he's playing the can't catch me game. I, I followed up quickly. I said, I don't have a phone. I, I thought that would be the end of it, you know? I thought she would just walk off, but no. She smiled. Can I have your MSN? No, there's no way any of these guys had MSN. That was before their time. I, I thought that would be the end of it. You know, I thought she would just walk off, but no. She smiled and said, what about an email? Email. <laughs> Too Listen, slow. You guys might have been in elementary school, but you guys, y'all are old at heart. Too old slow for me. Email. <laughs> email was the thing back then, okay? Email was a thing. There was nothing else. There was no, there was no MSN, Facebook bro. or Wait, MySpace. Wait, how old is Socks? Bro, there's no. something crazy called PictoChat, bro. Just DS link up. What is PictoChat? Wait, okay. I, how old is Socks? Wasn't he born in 1999? Socks for one age. Yeah, I'm literally about to Google this. Born in 2000? Socks, don't act like you are so so old, okay? Don't act like we didn't have any. We, there was no Facebook. Yes, there was. You just weren't using it. What are you talking about? Gosh, sucks. Don't act like you a 90s kid if you ain't a 90s kid, bro. You had technology. We have technology. This? Bro, there's something crazy called PictoChat, bro. Just DS link up. What is PictoChat? Is <laughs> how old are you guys, bro? I do not want to be in there. But, and I did have an email. So I wrote it down and I gave it to her, okay? I just gave my crush my email, okay? And she just walked off. And we never talked ever again, Yay, okay? For the rest that's of the how it goes. Days. I was still in shock. And to be honest, I didn't know what just happened. As soon as I got home, I checked my PC and she sent me an email. Oh, mm. she said. She oh, wants you. And you know what's going to be really funny? It's time to show you my What's elementary school wrist account? because I have all the emails that no. I sent. Oh, oh, no. Yes! Let's go! Oh, this got way more exciting. This just got way more exciting. Let's go. Socks is going to show us his elementary school wrist. Oh, no. I have all the emails that I sent. Oh, to the oh, oh, let's no. go. Oh, no. Every let's single go. one. First, she sent me an email on February 27th, 2012. 2000. Oh my God. 2012. Yeah. I was said, an adult hey, Nick, at that point. Uh, wait, okay, wait, before you like keep going, how did you find it? How did you <laughs> find this? <laughs> he started it. He started it. Why did you start it, bro? Have you been just looking back on this every single day? <laughs> I hope <laughs> not. I hope the peak not. of my life. I mean, everything's been downhill <laughs> after this. Bro's still waiting for, for her to say, yeah, bro. So, okay, she sent me a message. So, you know, I got to show her my elementary school riz, right? So, right. you know, I, I, I sent her the classic, you know, I said this. I said, hey. not much. Just sitting around waiting for my piano Wait, what was her to come. message? <laughs> you? Oh. Yo, you smart. You showing her. Oh. Don't have the emojis on deck. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot make this up. This is so... <laughs> 
true. I always thought that e the 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 equal sign smiley faces looked really weird. I prefer the colon. I prefer the colon. Even back then, it was colon, bro. It was colon. And back then, they were not called emojis. They were emoticons back then. But well, they were called emoticons. But I couldn't read. <laughs> I apparently couldn't read. I just thought it said emotions. I didn't know it was emoticon. I thought it just said emotion, which I think says a lot about my brain uh, moving into adulthood. <laughs> Bro had the emojis on deck. <laughs> I cannot make this up. This is so, <laughs> so true. This is, I tell you, I, I got the best risk because you know what she sends right back? What? That's so weird. I just got back from piano. Whoa. She played piano too. Whoa. In. It's red in the stars. No way. She's lying. No way. Locked in is crazy. <laughs> Bro's been locked this is the, <laughs> since grade one. <laughs> I, I don't reply to this. I don't reply to this. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing I don't to say. Lockdown. Okay, she follows up. She doubles down. She doubles down again. And she sends me a picture of her dog. Oh. Want to see my new puppy? His name is Sparky. Aww, Sparky. So and I don't really hate cats, by the way. I actually kind of like them. Which <laughs> I don't understand. This is so funny. That is so how an elementary school kid talks. We didn't assume you hated cats because you have a dog, bro. We didn't assume that. But when your kid is like, oh yeah, by the way, I don't completely despise the feline species. Like, oh, oh, uh, pardon me. Uh, I, I'm, I, I, I can't seem to find uh, who asked. I, I can't. You never know. It, it's good to say these things just in case someone's going to ask you that question. Hey, you have a dog. Does that mean you absolutely hate everything that isn't a dog? Okay, that's what I thought. really hate cats, by the way. I actually kind of like them, which I don't understand. So I might have said something in school because she's replying to my last message. So it doesn't really make sense. We got a picture of her dog. Things are happening. What'd you do? What'd you do next? I reply to... What? What? Do that? No. I'm very busy. No. I say, hey, sorry, I have not been responding in a in while. In a while, I've half of your busy. life. That is a very cool dog, by the way. Did you get a phone by then or something? Did you graduate? What she happened? She doesn't even have that email anymore. Or that dog? Tell me. She replies right away no. on the same day. No, she says. No worries, how's life? Sent from an iPhone. So in she's upgraded. Three. It's a whole new oh. it's a whole new century. In so grade she, three. she says no worries, how's life? So this is my chance, okay? I haven't responded in two years. Redemption art. I can redemption, right? And you know, I actually follow back, you know, right right away. I said this. Long story short, I'm at tennis school. Bro, yeah, <laughs> nice. that's very wins. cool. And honestly, that you might think that like would turn her away. No, no I think that's pretty cool. right away. Wow, really? That's cool. Still an NC or like boarding school? She's engaged. She's engaged. No, no, engaged. no, guys, chill, chill. <laughs> are you sure these aren't AI generated comments? Baby God, I will this show you. Fake. I will pull up the email <laughs> after this, and I will show you. It's all real. Can I email her? That would be kind of weird. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That would be so much. Honestly, you no, know, you have to. You have to. Well, there's no way on earth that this person still has the same email. There's no way on earth they are still using like horse lover <laughs> two thousand as their as as their email. <laughs> Guys, I remember when putting uh 1997 in your email address or your username on Xbox Live or whatever, you immediately would get like targeted because you're a kid. And that person's like 26 now <laughs> the people who i remember okay sorry guys i'm i'm making myself sound very old and i am getting off track <laughs> That would be so funny. Don't freaking ask that. But you know, th this is like the most conversation I ever had with like a female. So th that was too much. I had to close it, right? I had to yeah, say, you know, stuff. still here in NC, but I got to go to sleep now. I'm waking up five o'clock for practice. And she said, oh my God, have fun. It's 8 p.m. Why yeah, I had to go to bed. bed. <laughs> I had to go to bed. Your old man bedtime. That was our whole conversation. Was that it? That's it? Yeah. Yeah, why is this person being so nice to Sox? It turns out there is other email threads that we had. So this was just one email thread. There was another one. This one's actually, this has even better riz than the first one. She said, Unlikely. I saw you riding your bike. Oh my gosh, just looking for you. Oh, wait, 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 said, wait. Oh, okay. I I thought I saw you were. I thought, I thought, I thought they used the wrong you were. I would have roasted this child. <laughs> Guys, make sure you learn the right yours. Listen, you can say you are if you're, if you're typing, but like, I'm just saying, learn your yours. That is the easiest way for me 
to silently in my head uh, roast you, okay? So get your get your yours right, okay? Actually, this has even better riz than the first one. She said, hey, Nick, I saw you riding your bike. Oh my gosh, just looking for you. Hello. Wow. She noticed you. Yeah, okay. Why don't you approach each other? It's so weird. That's you know, don't do that. We never talk to each other in person. And you know, uh, maybe I, I I should have asked. You know, want to go to like a park or something? Do some activity? You know, you know what I did? LOL. Bro, you suck at this. Why? Why is she so texty? Like, were you, like, were you a cool kid at school or something? I was the like, peak of the peak. That's what wait, I want to know. Wait, wait. I'm just realizing you texted her 13 days later. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 13, 13 days later and all you said is an LOL? Oh my gosh, there's not a single adult I know. Okay, actually, I do know some adults who would reply to an LOL 13 days later, but you are down bad and sad if you would do that. If you, Guys, if you send someone even one full sentence and then it takes them 13 days to reply and all they reply with is LOL, they're, they ain't into you. Move on. Move on. <laughs> oh Yo, no, God. that's the Riz. Girls like it when you seem uninterested. Thanks, bro. You were making like Minecraft faction videos on tutorials. No, oh, this was before that. I wasn't even, dude, I was nine. Are you nine. sure that this was your first crush? It doesn't seem like you had a crush on her at all. <laughs> dude, honestly, I don't even think like you could have a crush that young, to be honest. I don't I don't know. I think female was just like, whoa, females, you know? But yeah, that was my insane elementary school race. And honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself, you know? And uh, This is not even a crush story then. If, if you're proud of my race, you should subscribe. You'll never guess who my first crush was. I actually know the date. January 22nd at 2 p.m. You know the time? 2024. I just found out about her maybe today. I don't know, but okay, I'm going to give you a little hint. I'm going to try to, maybe you guys can figure it out. She has brown hair. Wait, so wait, 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 what was the date again? What? January 22nd, 2024 at 2 p.m. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, earlier today at 2 p.m. <laughs> okay, let's just, you know, let's just ignore. Okay, guys, don't research. Don't look into it, okay? Was it skibbity toilet? No, no, Ali. No, please, give me... <laughs> Beautiful blue eyes. Her name starts with an N. <laughs> United States representative. Nicole. Oh shut up. my god. Shut up. 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 Who is this? Nancy Pelosi. Who the hell? Isn't she like 100 years old? It, just, let me send an image. Yes, okay, I cool. need the images. I need, I, I don't know who this is. Guys, I'm a Canadian here. That was a long setup for a joke that means nothing to me. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I've heard that name 50 million times and I have no idea who that is because I don't need to know. I just, I, listen, I just work here, okay? I just work here. So, hey, Americans, you can let me know if that's a funny joke or not. Let me send an image. Yes, okay, I cool. need the images. I need, I, I don't know who this is. This is such a low quality image. Yeah, I got you. I got you guys. I got you guys. Look, Muffin, she doesn't have blue eyes. Oh my God. Her skin is like ripe. It's ready to peel off. Don't judge a book by its cover, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to say this, bro. I looked up Nancy Pelosi and this popped up. I'm just putting that out there. Like, like, I don't, I don't know. Just the way she talks. I just can't. I just makes my heart. How does she talk? She's she's like, hey, kids, say it, hey. And like the way she talks, it makes my heart just flutter. Hey, All right, Muffin, quit grandma, wasting though. our time. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Is she conservative? I don't really know what she is. Okay, I'm just, I just love Muffin, the way Muffin, you did not deserve to go second, Muffin. Muffin, you were invited to this video to tell an embarrassing life story. Not to get political, not to, not to do a, 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 a W bruh, politician bruh. Uh, riz. Bruh. Uh, m meme. All right, let's see what else he's got. She is, okay, I'm just, I just love the way <laughs> she is. I got DMs. You got DMs from her? Nancy Pelosi was DMing a minor. <laughs> 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 Don't, okay, let me send my images. Let me send the first okay. DM. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, he, said that a, he said that an hour ago. Dude, that was not an hour ago. He's an hour behind, she That was like a couple minutes. Ah, uh, <laughs> so he had his no, receipts. No, no, no. She sent that to you? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely her DM. I just guys, say, hey, baby. <laughs> all right, yeah. guys, listen. I'm a keeper real. I'm a keeper real, Sock Studios. This story should have been a blast. Don't prioritize a homie in the order if if homie if homie story
is cap. This is a no cap zone, okay? You're not allowed to cap. But Muffin insists on capping. This is where the story goes down of wrong holes. Ever heard of um Paul Pelosi? Who are these political um, figures, Muffin? Apparently she is married. Eliminate the competition. This little stick. See, Muffin wanted to avoid telling a real embarrassing story from his life. It doesn't mean you can't score, you know what I'm saying? You can be the mistress. What? You can be the mistress. Okay, let me show you the real reason why she's just so great. Let me just send it. Not that one. Oh, oh okay, my god! Okay. I might be in love wow. with her. Wow, is that like a billion dollars, dude? I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rate that uh, one Nancy Pelosi head. Th that's a pretty good rating out of, out of ten. Okay. Well, what, what about you, TBH? Okay. You got one? A real story? Uh, I, you know, I have a few. A few. This brings me back to elementary school. Okay. Uh, wait, how old are you in like first grade? Like what? Three? No. What? Your first crush <laughs> was when you were three years old in first grade. I don't know you if the age matters. You up. can't. The, I, the, I think it's physical impossible to have a crush when you're three years old. I think that's physically impossible. I don't think that is physically possible. When you're three years old, do you even know the difference between a boy and a girl? My brain wasn't, didn't ex even exist when I was three years old, let alone having a conscious thought, let alone having a, a crush. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's impossible. That's impossible. And by the way, if you're watching this video so far and you're enjoying yourself, I would appreciate it if you boost the like button on this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Channel. And if you're already an avid viewer of the channel, we do have a join button. If you want to get a little, little bit of exclusive news and content from me, uh, I announced that I was working on an animation channel to members only. Uh, like a couple weeks before you guys found out or maybe even three weeks before you guys found out So yeah, if you want to get if you want to get the exclusive news become a member that would be cool The first crush was when you were three years old in first grade. I don't know if the age matches the, up first something like, like seven, that, okay? I think. seven years old first grade. Okay for the sake of the story I don't remember the girl's name because she was not that important anymore. anymore. I'm gonna call her Shouty. You gotta say it with the whole act Shouty. Shouty. Okay. Shouty. Shouty. Actually, I don't want to sing the song because I, I literally know a friend who got copyright claimed for having just one second of this song. However, I like to live dangerously. Let's go. All right, try to come for me. I'll just crop it out. Oh, I think I, I don't think this is Cap anymore, so I'll, I'll take this off. I don't remember the girl's name because she was not that important anymore. Damn. I'm going to call her Shouty. You got to say it with the whole act. Shouty. Shouty. Okay. Shouty. Exactly. Exactly. Shouty. Exactly. Me and this girl basically talked every day. She was like my first best friend. Damn, but okay. she wants you. Aww. She wants yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't know anything about feelings or anything like that. I just knew that, like, you know, I talked right. to this person and I'm like competent of her existence. Competent. And that's it. No, that's, that's the it. wrong word. And I'm like competent of her existence. Cognitive. Cognizant was the word you were looking for. You were cognizant of her existence. Competent of her. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. 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 Shouty. That's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the video. I hope you're aware. Also, great SpongeBob reference. Love to see it. I don't have her number. Don't know where she lives. Don't really care about her outside of school, but she was my best friend at the time. Wow. Okay. That, right. This is where all went down. She worked for the government and she was tracking uh, your location again. to send you back where you came from. <laughs> she was you. <laughs> there you go. Anyway. <laughs> She was your sister. But that would have been a bonus. <laughs> Guys, oh my you gosh. So mean to me? Man, people from Alabama always catch that stray. They always catch that stray. They're like, what was your crush, your sister? And then they just play Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Guys, that is not nice. That is not nice. People from Alabama don't deserve that. Shout out to all my Alabamians, okay? Shout out to all of my Alabamersons. I don't know what people from Alabama are called and also this looks like an intentional look from 2006 so i'm not gonna do that there we go shouty she was your sister but that would have been a bonus stop <laughs> So, the story goes downhill when one day we're having lunch, okay? I was a pretty fat kid, so I had my mom made me lunch, and then I went to Scott's school lunch, and then I got to the vending machine, okay? So, I was okay. I was like a ball, okay? I was a little, little roly-poly ball, okay? okay? And I had to sneeze really bad, right? So, you know, like, I don't, like, you know when air people sneeze, they go, <laughs> No, I didn't know that. Like all air people, okay? There's a problem. Okay. Mid sneeze, it was, it was like stuck. Oh no! So I, okay. I, so I do like a, I do like a little <laughs> cough sneeze, and this is the problem, right? So you know, up. that movie made me cry. Yes. yes, right. But you know, like all the balloons. I'm so sad now. <laughs> Shut up. 
This is okay. why you guys Yeah, what will now, this have to do with all these up. balloons? Okay, we're one big giant bubble Ew. that came out of my nose. And I was basically Ew. levitating. Ew. Okay, oh, did was... she slurp it up like a snack? <laughs> guys, no, it's, watch it's, it. It's, it's, it's it's that is, what? I don't, I, how do I even respond to that? I blow this giant bubble. I start floating, okay? And I'm, I'm, you blow up. <laughs> I am levitating in the spot, okay? okay. And then the, the bubble pops and I fall back into my seat, right? And I'm embarrassed. I'm like, that's like the sound like a seven year old makes. Charlie looks at me and she she covers her mouth and she goes, what and a she's dork! Dying of laughing. What a dork! In front of me, okay. And now I'm like embarrassed. Like I don't want to. I don't want to ever look at you again. I hate you now. Okay. Oh. I, I despise oh. you. Right. But this is the problem. She laughed. So she liked me more now. She like oh, fallen man. madly in love with me. She would not leave me alone. But now I'm like severely embarrassed. For I There's don't even no want to deal with this way. person. Ever. There's no way that your snot bubble was what <laughs> made the difference for this person. And if so, listen, homie. If your snot bubble was <laughs> was what made the difference between her liking you and her not liking you. That's a crazy, that's a crazy, that's a crazy chick, okay? You, you get that out of your life. And if you are more attracted to someone because they levitated from a giant snot bubble, uh, please reevaluate your life. Thank you. A message from the government of Canada. Not leave me alone, but now I'm like severely embarrassed for I don't even want to deal with this person ever again in my life. Now that's rich. So for like the rest of our time in school, when we went to school for like another like five, six years, because we had like the same school zone, I just refused to talk to this girl. And every time I talked to her, I would just be an absolute meanie bo beanie pants. Okay. And that's wow. how the whistle uh wizard. So basically you we had a giant booger and then you cried and went. Yeah, but at least I talked to her like every day and not emailed <laughs> before that. <laughs> Was that really a crush? Was that really your- Wow. Homies in this video are not putting in the effort <laughs> whatsoever. Man, it is crazy when you when you are that age. The fact that something like this can be the most significant, like, romantic experience of your life is mind-boggling. I remember, so I guess my first, like, crush? Crush? Person I- Dated? Yeah, we on we talked on MSN only, and at recess, I was too shy to say a word to them. And to be fair, they didn't approach me either, so they could have done better too. But I, I personally blame myself. I personally blame myself for not being more, uh, more talkative. Man, I was shy. But at that time, we were like literally considered boyfriend and girlfriend because that was enough, apparently. <laughs> At the time, you know? I didn't win. Yeah, but at least I talked to her like every day and not emailed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Wait, I was being supportive of your story. I was I was patting you on your back. I raised that a Riz out of 10. That was pretty good. Wow. Who, who here has a, 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 a better crush story? Hmm? When I was 13, I had my oh, first wow. love. Justin Bieber? There was nobody that compared to my baby and nobody came between us. No could ever come above. Bet you didn't think I could do that. Bet you didn't think I could do that. You know what's hilarious? I searched baby Luda, like ludicrous. I didn't search Justin Bieber. I searched baby Luda. That's how you know I'm hip. That is how you, guys, that is how you know I'm cool. I searched baby ludicrous instead of JB. All right, here we go, here we go. When I was 13, I had my first love. There was nobody that compared to my baby and nobody came between us, no could ever come above. She woke me up daily. Don't, don't need no Starbucks. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not mentally well today. Who who here has a a, a, a better crush story? Hmm? When I was 13, I had my, my first, first love. Justin Bieber? I was sitting in my room Justin? one night on my bed trying to find something to watch, and that's when I saw him. Justin the man Bieber. in my dreams. And you right there. That nobody could come between us or could ever come, come above. above. And oh! him going crazy. <laughs> I was starstruck. Uh, yeah. Are you singing, baby? No. What are you talking about? Shut up! <laughs> Don't need no stars. It's most impressive I've ever heard her. So I looked up what anime he was from, and it was okay. Black okay. Butler, Sebastian Michaelis. Whoa! 
wait, he's not real? It's, it's not another, real. It's it's not not a real dude. Yeah, anyways, it's a cat dude. Howden, I would wake up daily just to don't watch him. Don't need no stop, bugs. I, don't like it. <laughs> I would think about him at school, on the playground, but I just want to see, see him, him on, on the weekend. See him on a weekend? Oh, she's like good. good. He had me dazing. He was, he was so, so amazing. amazing. Oh, what is this? Is this a poem? Why is she this is the, poem? This is the Why first. Why rhyming? But then my heart was breaking because he's not real, so. No! has a crush star. Wow, these guys didn't catch all the references. Yo, trust me. I hate how this looks. When I put the hat on over the hood, it looks like it, it, we're back in like 2008 or six or whatever, and I'm like, crunk. Y'all, hey kids, y'all know what crunk is? <laughs> Y'all know what crunk is, kids? A very weird time for music is what it was. But yeah, it looks like I'm a crunk person, but I'm not, just so you know. But this hat is pretty ill, I will say that. Who has a crush story? He didn't even rate it, that's a bad one. Oh. <laughs> All right, want me to go? Wait, is this when you were younger? Okay. Yes, I'm, yes it was. Wait, so, okay. Like, like current TBA? time, yeah, TBH? I, I, <laughs> Yeah, oh, so I How many good. times have you guys made this joke? I, I was going to watch all the videos and watch the trip. I hate you guys. See, listen, uh, the way I was when I was growing up, I was a little bit shy. You know, yeah, I just look yeah, at yeah. the girls from a distance. I want to go up to them. Docking them at the dead That's of how night. it goes. Aren't you just still like outside that? their window. Uh, I am. I don't, I, don't, I don't look at them at all. Because, like, bro, they're scary, bro. The girls are actually Terrifying scary. Stuff. Yeah, I know. The, the minute you look at us, our mouth unhinges and teeth start coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen that happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw a girl. I was at a playground. I think this was like fourth grade. I saw a girl and I was like, dang, chowdy. Wow. Now we're saying that to fourth grade girls. Anyways, her name was Jessica. Jessica is walking around the playground at recess time with her friends, you know, chilling. And I'm over here on the chilling. swing and I'm like, damn, I gotta impress this girl. You know, like I wasn't like athletic. I wasn't like that smart. And I was like, dang. Well, you know what's impressive? Me swinging on the swing. You know what else so is impressive? impressive? Me jumping off the swing. Crazy. And so I thought, you know what? You know it'd be really cool if I go as high as I can and then jump off and stick the landing. She's walking around and I say, hey, Jessica. Jessica! You're a gay! Jessica! You're a gay! Yeah, bro, because I'm swinging and I'm wasting all my energy Jessica! trying to get to the max height and speed I can. So I'm like, hey, Jessica! She's like, yeah! Hey, she's walking with her friend still. <laughs> Are you sure that's not like a grown man? Listen, anyway, she's still walking with her friend and she's like right in front of me. I'm like, what this? Right? And then I, I, as soon as I reach my peak on the swing set, I launch my body forward. Woo! And you know what happened? Oh, no. She's still oh, walking. No. Oh, no. I hit. What did you say, it? Oh, you hit it. You did <laughs> it. You stuck the landing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I hit something. You know, she, sure. she's still walking. And, yeah. Uh, I crashed right into it. Oh, I fly oh, nice. right oh, into it. Oh, nice. But you made it fall wow. for you. I, 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 you guys, you guys think, you guys think it's like something soft full landing. No, I flew into her so hard, I knocked out my tooth. Okay, no. I want you to know how far I flew into her. You donated your tooth for her. What part? What? Wait, wait. What knocked out the tooth? I need to know what knocked out the tooth. Because if you knocked out your tooth, what, like on her skull? Did you like jump into her elbow? What did you have to hit on a human being to break your tooth? Actually, when you're a kid, your teeth fall out. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm just, ah, ah. Uh, part of me, ah, just remember that that was a thing. Oh, it's so normal when you're a kid, but as an adult, like the thought of a tooth fall, like wiggling and falling out. Ah! No, thank you. I knocked out my tooth. Okay, I want you to Damn. know how far I flew into her. You oh. donated your tooth for her. That's wow. so romantic. Yeah. Was your baby tooth or your adult tooth? His adult tooth and elementary. Juicy, bro. <laughs> Where do you bro. grow adult teeth? <laughs> Bro, I'm still my baby team. <laughs> Bro, still waiting. <laughs> Anyways, I look up at her. I'm like, oh my gosh, Jessica. Jessica. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> bro's mesmerized. No. I look at her. Her nose is smushed in, bro. Her oh nose my god! No! It's kind of dripping. And Are I look, you kidding I, I feel me? The top of my head. I feel a little blood. I'm gonna lie. I feel oh, a little blood. It's no. not mine though. So did she like look like Voldemort after? Yeah, bro. Her nose was smushed in. You smacked Dude. her nose yeah. with your head? Yeah, I've been hitting stuff with my head. Walls. How is this? Next, babies. So is she like alive? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, That's terrifying. How is that the first? All these guys are here about this story. That's an insane story. You, we broke her nose. That is horrifying. That would have been like the most traumatic experience of my life at that age. Oh gosh. Maybe because you just talked about losing teeth and now a broken nose. Maybe forgive me if I'm a little squeamish. Okay. Look like Voldemort after. Yeah, but her nose was smushed. In. You smashed her nose with your head. Yeah, I've been hitting stuff with my head. Walls. Woman. What's next? Babies. So is she like alive? 
yeah. Uh, you have to think about it. Why do you have to think about it? <laughs> but then, you know, after a couple years and on my computer, I load up this one game and then I'm like, dang, this girl's kind of hot. And her name's Monica. <sighs> okay, buddy. <laughs> All right. All, All right. right. Okay. 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 I rate that um, nose. Nose, nose out of nose out of, out of ten. Who's got a crush story? Oh, I got one. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> Hillary, yeah, Hillary Muffin, Clinton. you had oh, your man. time. You know what? I I'll explain my crush stories. Okay. Has anyone seen a cartoon yes. called Dora the Explorer? Oh, oh my God! You have a crush on when Dora I, the Explorer. Really? <laughs> when I was young, when when I when I was a kid, I was like, I cannot wait to see Dora the Explorer. Aww. What? And I was really? like, I used to I. Used I just have a crush on Dora the Explorer. Was this recent? No, this is when I was like 12. Wait, she's, 12? She's like six, bro. No, it like better 12. not be 12. Like a kid. <laughs> yeah, it better not be 12. 12 but. is a big. Bro, just, I met you four years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like, better be getting your numbers wrong, bro. Four years early. No, wait. No, maybe when I, when I was a 12. Maybe it was probably when I was like eight. What, what did you like about Dora? Even I then, I, bro. I, I don't even know. She was just she was just Dora. She was just exploring, you know? You wish you were Boots, huh? Wait, who's Boots? You, you had a crush on Dora the Explorer and you don't even know who Boots was? <laughs> I can't remember. This was so long ago. But then. He wasn't focused on the Boots. All right, all right. Let me let me think. Let me think. What, what were my cartoon crushes as a kid. Oh, I mean, gotta be, um, Trixie. Trixie Tang, I think is her name. Yeah. Yeah, see, there, there's, there's me, little short, awkward dude with buck teeth. Um, okay, who else? Who else? Who else? I know Jack Harlow was into Shigo, but for me, it was Kim Possible. It was the main character, Kim Possible. Don't take my word for it. Let's hear Jack Harlow's thoughts. Dark hair, she looked like Shigo. She do. She's bad. I had a lot of cartoon characters that used to get me desire I guess as a kid she was one of them the female reindeer from the Rudolph claymation series uh, all right that I immediately regret playing that clip <laughs> wait why did I keep putting the hat on like this when I could have literally just done that I had so many opportunities to put this hat on normally okay we're gonna put it back on like that I, just, just, I, I don't even know she was just she was just door she was just exploring you know you wish you were boots huh wait who's boots you, you had a crush on door the explorer you don't even know who boots was <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> This was so long ago. But then I grew older. And you know what? I was like, fictional characters aren't for me. How dare right. you say that about fictional characters? Do say I give that toothpaste on toothbrush. I think there's only one person left. Do you guys actually want to hear my story? I think it's too like five levels ahead of you guys to comprehend. You know, I think if it's, it's real, you're already your ahead. Story. We want to hear it, Mame God. My story happened in third grade. Back when I was in the gifted and talented class. Yay. You know, back when my parents were proud of me. My dad would uh, tell all the kids in the neighborhood, my son is very good. Gonna be doctor one day. Okay. Why'd you destroy his dream? I, I only had one best friend. His name was Jonathan. I was sitting around with Jonathan one day and I was like, you know, I was eating my, you know, my food, my roti. And yeah. then I saw someone on the lunch line. And what was his name? No, it was not a her. It, a him. Oh, it was a... It was a... I saw a girl for the first time. <laughs> for the first time? What about your mom? This is your first time ever seeing <laughs> Sorry, you know what he means! You know what he means! This is your first time ever seeing a girl? Oh, first time I actually noticed a girl. Okay. She okay. was standing in the lunch line. Okay. She had like she had like nice hair and, and for, for some reason her face was just like Mimi, did you go up to do the Sigma face? <laughs> I was sitting I was sitting in in the table in the cafeteria, just like 30 feet away. Okay. She didn't know that I exist. Okay, but for some reason, whenever God was doing her a favor, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like Natalie, I didn't crash into her, okay? I just had a confrontation with her. I just stood there and just watched her every single day. That's, oh, you know, that's no. Me, bro. Listen, it starts off. Okay? Oh, I was no. planning my riz. And then I went home and I was like, I can't pay attention in school. I don't even eat lunch. I just sit there. Wait, 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 wait. So you can't do anything? You're just completely idolizing this woman. Dude, no, I was just like starstruck, bro. Like, I literally like, I went to school and I forgot everything, bro. I went home and I was like to my dad, I can't pay attention in school. He he took it oh, a little no. bit too serious. Like, what? You got to pay attention in school, you you're, you're, And he's not saying why? Is he not? He's not saying why? I mean, if he knows what the issue is, it's up to him to stop it. it what Does he want to ask his dad to take his crush away? Dad, I have a crush on this girl. 
And I want you to make it stop, please. I would appreciate it if you did, if you made it start. It wasn't a thing anymore. He he took it a little bit too serious. Like, what? You got to pay attention in school, you bloody <laughs> I spent 50 years coming here to America. You got to pay <laughs> so angry, he's cutting out. I'm actually scared. But Juicy, I'm putting you in front of me. Keep him away what from me. What am I supposed to do? You burned him. Oh God, he's back. My dad, my dad got so furious over that. He went to school, right? He's like, this, this is not my kid's fault that he can't pay what? attention in school. It's the teachers. It's the government. Okay, they're all like doing something to my kid. They're brainwashing them with their, their stupid uh, TikTok and stuff. He went to school. He's like, you brought it, teachers. Why are you teaching my kid? He want to need to be a doctor. He should be in 12th grade right now. You freaking keeping them back all these stupid kids the teachers is like, you know for some reason your kid just like isn't paying attention to school He's like no bloody boy. It's your fault. It's your fault Then then why are everyone's grades? Okay, and your son's is no way I want to know what the conversation was between meme God and his dad because you would think the dad would ask why What like what is distracting you at school? What is there a thing that you can like point to that is like causing you to be distracted and he's like ah i didn't think this far ahead no d d just go to school and get get mad at whoever you decide to get mad at whoever you want to throw your venom at just just go right ahead isn't paying attention to school he's like no bloody boy it's your fault it's your fault Right? And he would just keep doing that. He did that the whole entire day, created a whole scene. All of right? this is because of women. So what you're saying is that we need to eliminate no. all women. <laughs> Based. This got, this started to get a little bit too heated, right? Even like yeah. the principal, like my, my dad went to the principal and he's like, you know, there's something wrong happening. Like, why is my grade starting to go down automatically or something? This is racism. Then the principal and the teachers, they were like, we can't have this on our rep in school. Yeah. So yeah. they had a meeting one day. It was all because of you? Yeah, the meeting was about me what they decided on was that uh you know maybe i don't deserve to be in the gifted and talented class <sighs> when they came to my dad and they told him like hey we're changing his class uh -huh. to something else right uh -huh. i actually saw that as good news in my head i was like maybe i can get transferred into this other girl's class why are you whispering uh, your dad's at home <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! honestly guys i'm gonna keep it real so so i've said this before i was also in a gifted class from grade uh five to eight and that was hard that stuff was hard i went from being like a a minus student all throughout like the beginning of elementary school to being like a b and a c student in the gifted program and all of a sudden it's like wow i'm the dumb one i am the dumb one in this class i went from being one of the smart kids to being one of the dumb kids and it was so hard for me that i struggled to pay attention more maybe honestly that maybe that was just me being that age and having add there's no way of me knowing so yeah honestly me being taken out of the gifted class and put into the normal class probably would have helped my self-esteem growing up I'll be, I'll be totally honest so i can relate to this oh and this is not cap so let me take that off. <laughs> Shut up! They put me in the class in the basement. The what? Base? Seriously? Yeah, there was this class in the basement. They put me in there. And this this school was so like segregated. It was based on like the higher up it goes, it's like the caste system. No. It's like the basement is the, the stupidest class. No. The fourth floor is the best class. What? Because of a crush you had? Because of this girl. Wait, she wasn't in the basement. Yeah, she wasn't in the basement. That's what was my surprise because I was excited to go to class. You were surprised that she wasn't stupid? I didn't know. Okay, I didn't know this. This was the thing. I didn't know this class was stupid. That's when I first went inside and I was like, yo, bro, what? It's in the basement. <laughs> Man, all of these crush stories are about, like, people that they didn't even talk to. This video is so different than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to talk about actual people, like, interacting, but it's all like, oh no, I had a crush on this girl, so I had a snob bubble that took me to the moon, and then it popped, and then I smashed into a person and broke my tooth, and then I got thrown into a different school. Like, why do? Why do? What does this have to do with crush? I went into the class, and there's just, like, the kids are crawling on the walls, they're ripping <laughs> papers they're running Scary around stuff. the teacher is like taking a ruler and smacking it on the board like pay attention kids i feel like everyone there all the kids over there like just well oh, if only that girl if only you didn't fall for that girl all of this chaos right because you were madly in love <laughs> telling you bro did you even ask her because out because this did woman, you email her dude i don't even know her name to this i never <laughs> saw her I'm, like, respectable very respectable well that was absolutely nothing like i thought i mean i thought i was awkward as a child I, but if I had to do this 
If I had to tell a story, man, I would have a lot more to say. Okay, that was very long. Uh, a lot of cap in that story, <laughs> but I always enjoy looking at socks and stuff. If you want to see me look at socks again, let me know in the comments. I always enjoy it. People here at Socks's channel, make sure you're supporting the original creators of these videos. They work very hard on them. Here's the full playlist of times I have looked at Socks Studios videos in my videos. Uh, if you have not seen all of my Socks videos videos, there you go. Check out the playlist. And then here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like in particular. Like, literally you, particularly you. It's different for every person. So I will see you there, or I will see you there. Peace out, people.